You know, Dr. Schaffner, uh, I'm going to add word the word the issue this way. Here's what it looks like with this Johnson and Johnson data to to us here in our non-scientific minds. It looks like a lot of people agree that a second a booster shot is needed, but it looks like Johnson and Johnson's data isn't very good. And so, if that's the issue, what do you do? Well, actually, I think the concept of mixing and matching, Chuck, looks very attractive to many of us. Namely, although you've started with Johnson & Johnson, your second dose, which would be your booster, could be either Pfizer or Moderna. Uh, and I think that study you just alluded to that they're going to be looking at this afternoon actually reinforces that because the data showed that after that mix and match, you get a very large antibody rise. So that looks very attractive to many of us. And I think a lot of people out there who received J&J &J have heard about this and are looking forward to it.